If you like this video and channel, click on the like button and subscribe button. Also, if you want to have notification when new video released, click on the notified button. Welcome in video where we show how to use historical trends in your HMI. <clears throat> in previous video, we discuss about trend view. Okay, we can show it. We discuss, discuss about trend view where our trend showing the actual values on the machine for example save point will be 25 and we change the actual value of the water flow on the machine okay this is good but when we want logging this data and showing the historical data on the trend view for this we must use historical data in your HMI because how you can see okay <clears throat> in normal trend view you can real time show only 999 values then these values are cleared and the oldest values are cleared and new values are displayed on the trend view but if you want have historic data for this you can use historical data option okay we open this historical data option and by clicking on, on add new in data log you can insert some new data log for example we use name water flow we click on this create a data log and check the properties here is the name of the data log here is the data records per log for example we use 86,400 this is the values when we making historical data of plus minus one day when we make a log every second and <clears throat> then you have storage location you can use excel file database rdb file something like internal database of wincc and text file for this example we use excel file and we store it to the patch historical data logs okay then you have here type of logging method for this example we use circular log and also you can use segmented circular log display system at event event at it's uh, displaying the event on your HMI when <coughs> you are for example on the 80% of your log and also here you have trigger event then you have restart behavior here we enable the logging at the runtime start because we want to log every value when machine start <coughs> and also here you have log handling at the restart for this we use append data to existing log because we don't want to lose all the data after restarting and some comments this is data log for water flow values and set point okay now you can add the logging tags for this data log in this example we log 
two values. First will be actual value of water flow and second will be set point which we want to reach. Okay, a new name will be water flow process tag is actual water flow up yes actual water flow we use cyclic acquisition mode and we want to lock this tag every one second okay second is set point process tag with name set point water flow and we have same options cyclic acquisition mode and logging cycle okay we save the project and this is all for data logging now if we want <coughs> see this data on this trend we want to change the properties of the trend view and in option trend of the trend view you must click on the trend type and change trend type type to data lock same for set point value and also you need insert source setting which data log data log with name water flow and process value actual water flow okay and same for second value <coughs> data log water flow and process value set point water flow okay yes Now we can save the project and we can go try the changes. Start runtime. Okay, and now we can simulate changes. How we see now we don't see the real time values because now we write to Excel file and trend you read from excel file these values like actual water flow and set point if you want to see the values you need to drag the display of trend view and then you can see the historical values for example we change set point to 25 and go with actual water flow upper make behavior like PhD regulator plus minus drag the view and now we can see the values <coughs> These values are saved in Excel file in uh, our folder which we choose and is displayed on this trend view. Okay, we can start the RT. In previous example, if we again start RT runtime, then we only see the actual values from the starting the runtime but now when we start runtime again we see the historical data which are saved in excel file this excel file is in your in your folder which you choose we choose folder on the disk c and in this folder this is the excel file we can open it and here we can see the values of the text actual water flow and set point 
and here how you can see we change the set point water flow value to 25 and actual water flow go upper <coughs> to see better changes in your excel file you can make some macros uh, where you can make a graphical displaying of these values okay this is okay don't save and we go back to the WinCC and again start the runtime and check if you can see the historical data yes how you can see here is historical data these are actual values we have no actual values and in this time area we do nothing with our machine and we, this is why we don't have any data as you can see our data is zero but in this time we make some changes and this is the values from the excel file which are displayed on our trend view okay how we can see everything works fine this is very good for us <clears throat> also you can you can making more more logging tags in one data log or you can choose another storage location for example database which you have on some computer or LDB file or TXT file <coughs> okay thank you for watching this video where you can see how work with historical trends and how to show historical data for example from Excel file on your trend view. Thank you for watching, goodbye.